Hello, I'm Andy Burkhart, agronomic research scientist, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about cover crops. So right now I'm standing in one of our fields here at the research station. So to my right, we have some corn that's at V8, and to my left, we have some corn that's right around V9. And management-wise, they've been exactly the same this entire season, outside of one important aspect. This side had cereal rye established in fall 2020 and was planted green into it in mid-April, whereas this was planted into a strip with no cover crop. So cover crops are becoming a more prevalent practice among farmers in the United States, especially among farmers in the Corn Belt. So they can help build soil organic matter, improve soil structure, reduce soil erosion, and suppress weeds. But there are a few considerations you need to think about when thinking about whether or not to utilize a cover crop in your management system. So when talking about cereal rice specifically, it could reduce soil moisture. So in drought prone soils, such as in the Western Corn Belt, you might consider doing an earlier termination to, to save up on the soil moisture that that crop is going to use. It also could increase your pest pressure. So there, has been, there have been studies that show fall armyworm, black cutworm, wheat stem maggot, and diseases such as pythium can move from a green cereal rye crop to your corn. Another important aspect is nitrogen. So cut, cereal rye is going to be using those same nutrients just as corn is. And so when you plant into a green cereal rye cover crop, you're gonna have some of that nitrogen tied up in that crop residue. So when planting into a green cover crop, there are some management considerations to think about. So as I mentioned earlier, nitrogen is an important aspect we need to think about. So at planting, it's a, probably a good idea to put down either an in starter or a two by two or two by two by two placement of some sort of nitrogen fertilizer, either 10340 or 32% UAN. It's also important to do some early scouting for pests. So like I mentioned, fall armyworm and black cutworm are two big pests that could move from cereal rye directly into the corn you planted. It's also important to make sure your planter is properly adjusted. So you need to have good even down pressure and you need to have good consistent seed depth. So going over that rye cover crop, that crop residue, you might have some movement of those row units. So ensuring that your planter is properly calibrated and well-maintained will help mitigate some of those problems. And same as any other management system, it's important to ensure you have a good environment for planting. So you need to have soil temperatures at a minimum of 50 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. So those cover crop fields might infiltrate water a little faster, might dry out a little faster to plant into, but they're not going to warm up nearly as quickly as a tilled field. So your planting could be delayed by a few days. For termination, there are some specific important considerations to think about. You need to first maximize your spray volume to ensure you get good coverage of your cover crop. And two, you need to make sure you use the proper rate to get good termination of your cover crop. Tillage is another option we have for termination, but there are a couple considerations to think about when using tillage as your termination method. Uh, first, it could take more than one pass to get good termination of your cover crop. And two, it could negate some of those benefits you see from utilizing cover crops. So that's all I have for today. I hope the season goes well for all of you. If you have any questions, please contact your local agronomist or your local research scientist. Have a great day.